Now we'll get us a couple of parallels and lay in there. Yeah, okay, I think that right there be about right. Now see, that's a that's an inch and a quarter. So Oh yeah. That piece of uh that piece of aluminum we need is right down in the under. Uh that's right here. there I see immediately that's what we're going to make this we, we're going we're going to cut this right here and uh, machine a hole in there drill a hole in it and cut it like that oh let's get on with it we'll uh, we, we'll sketch us out a little blueprint there to go by Put some of that stuff right there on there. You know. It works as good as uh, most anything. And for this project, it's way... Well, no, no, no. You need a guideline to go by. Anytime you machine it something... Let, let, just quote me on that. Anytime you machine it something, you need a guideline to go by. You, you know what I mean? Just don't be machining out there in the Never Never Land. I'm just saying, but <clears throat> and, and, and what we're going to do, uh, if you ain't watched, uh, if, and I saw this in too, this was that piece of metal, and I saw daddy in the office, I saw daddy in the office, I saw this, I've, I've made one, two, three, I've made four cuts on the piece of metal so far, so I'll show you something. I think I think I think I've, I've done already talked about this in, in in another video, but but this right here to to confirm the measurement is true and level in all manner. That's a uh, oh old Leroy Starrett made that. It's a little square, it goes either way. It's a good one, and this one it's hardened and it don't have no name on it up yonder. But down here on the blade, and that's the same as this here. It don't have no name up here in this black part. And this one here is green. It's a really pretty. It's got a 45 on it like that. And this has got that on that right there. But this is, uh, that's a Lufkin Rule Company right there. Up there in Saginaw, Michigan. But what we're going to do, I'll show you something. Just slide that out like that right there at any position. And lock it in with a thumb screw. Set it aside. Same way on this one right here. Loosen it up. Slide it over through a thumb screw about the same amount. <clears throat> I'll show you that 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 uh band saw over. Uh you know one time the, look back in the playlist there for a video, but I tuned that I tuned that saw up one time with a grinder. Uh done some uh, file work on it. But this is the results of that. I've made a million cuts since then almost, I guess, thinking in my mind. And, and this is what I end up with every time. If we can get a, if we can get a, that's the end I sawed off right there. See, they ain't, they, they ain't, uh, well, it ain't none. And come down on the other end, I sawed that also. And it's the same story. In any position you put that, I'm holding it down here like that and down like it. Now that's according to start. Now, now that's don't don't quote me on that. You you quote old Leroy on that one. 
true and and square and you know you know what I mean. I would send this in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the other one right real quick. Turn around like that. Oh, it's even. Better. Well, they're all good. It ain't one of them ain't no better than the other one. <clears throat> but according to start, say this is off a little bit. Say it's not correct. Well, we can get this uh, lifting, which is uh, well, I've done dropped it, so I'm gonna move it and then retighten it. <clears throat> Just you know, thumb sets. But okay, to confirm a start, if you put that, oh, <laughs> I should get close up on that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. Central machinery, four by six bandsaw over saw disc. And also, it's true this way, too. Uh, Oh, yeah. As well as... Yeah. That's according to Starrett right there. Now, let's get on with this. So, so what I was thinking, uh, what we're going to make here is them axle, uh, uh, a thing to put the hand, hand, uh, the cart handle, the wagon handle onto the axle. And I, I made up a bunch of these things one time, a whole bunch of them, uh, to... Here's your axle pipe, and this goes on here like that, and you weld it one on each 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 side like that, and and, and then you run your uh, uh, handle through here with a cotter on it. But I wanted something a little more bolder than that, even to the point of being indivi individual to the cart, you know. And, and this is what what we're going to do. And, and to know how long to cut this off, and, and I'll tell it to you out loud, it's, uh, oh, that's one, some kind of odd number right there. Man, well, I've got, it, it's because them numbers, it's a little right there. There's no way in the world you can read them. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad on that side over there. These over here are pretty much useless. But, you know, hold your finger down like that where you can't feel them go together. And then you come down through here, and, and, and you put that little thing... Oh, this is going to be iffy at best, but it's that one right there. Well, there's a 12. It's 1 32nd past the 12. So that's, uh, uh, oh, I'm going to have to count that up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. That's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's twenty-one thirty seconds. Two inches and twenty-one thirty seconds. I believe what that is. So it, it it don't matter at all because there's no blueprint. <clears throat> I'm just building something that I want. So. The axle going this way, and these will be positioned here, is, is going to be their life from now on. But uh, to just give me a good amount back here where it's strong enough. And this is, uh, I should tell you that too, it's, uh, I'm going to do it like this. It's three quarters thick, and it's, uh, it's two and five eighths long and uh it's two inches that way so for, to, in order to visualize and just you know get the job done 
is this is going to be the size of the axle shaft it's going to come through there like that so i want it to be about right there and i want that distance between there whatever that is it's like a quarter here a quarter here and a quarter here is what that kind of adds up to be because that's a half inch right in or two and this up here is one and oh it's one of them odd numbers again you know what i mean you have to deal with a fraction of, oh well no it's not too bad yeah actually it is it's uh it's one inch and uh, five sixteenths. One and five sixteenths cross that way. I know there'd be a fraction in there. Five sixteenths. So, so we're just looking at it right there. And uh, <clears throat> I'll show you something. You, you know, just take the pencil and go around there. All, all around them. Really good in order to know okay see I was pretty decent on the offset <clears throat> but but you use them numbers to give you the actual center line well we'll do that okay right here's what you end up with that's that's the magic of uh, YouTube but I laid them out I show you uh, the center line of the small one was right there and the center line there so I, I did this thing right here like this and, and adjusted it to the like that and, and, and I went around you know like that and made that line real pretty okay and I did it on the little one. And when you put this back up here, see that's that's a visual visualizing. It. It's a little on the large side, but if it was to end up being that size, I, I could actually use that. And this one up here is just the center line, and and, and, and I'll just drill that straight through. So, and 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 to fix this into position. What I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to mill the corners off. I'm going to mill that corner off right there in this corner, and then at that angle right there and that angle right there. So that'll give me one of them shapes like that. Okay, and this is laid out also. And, and what we're going to do is put them in. We're going to put them in the in the mill over there at an angle like this and mill that off. And then we're going to drill them holes. Let's get on with it.